Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Severiano Paoli and we're gonna talk about the double bass. The double bass, as it's pretty obvious by looking at it, is a rather uh, physically demanding instrument. I mean, the instrument itself is really large, it's a large body. The neck is as thick as a small tree. The strings are really thick compared to other stringed instruments. The dimension themselves anyway ask a lot from our body and it is really important that we keep as players ourselves fit and healthy in order to play it proficiently. In my previous video um, I, I talked about how to have a proper and healthy stance with the bass, a stance that allows you to play as good as possible and to keep your body healthy, to keep your body and your spine especially safe. Today we're gonna talk about how to keep your left hand uh, fit with three simple exercises. Let's look at it. The three exercises I'm gonna propose you today are taken from the book of Franco Petracchi, Simplified Higher Technique for the Double Bass. You can see the link in the description. Um, these exercises, the way I, I play them, are, is actually a little bit different than the way they're written in the book. They're just my own variations. Uh, anyway, if you, uh, if you see the book itself, he, he writes, the author himself writes um, variations for the exercises. Anyway, by being sheer technique exercises, feel free to, uh, to twist them to your own needs. So, let's see the first one. The first exercise we're going to get into today is an exercise meant to develop two very important aspects. The first aspect is the sheer strength and the sheer uh, agility of the left hand and this comes out of its um, repetitive and uh, um, athletic nature. The second aspect is developing a um, firm, safe and secure position of the of the hand where all the uh, semitones fall into place it's needless to say that having a um, having a proper having a firm um, and, and secure position allows us bass players to have a good intonation to have a, a precise accurate intonation and to have really security while playing precise is based on a, a G major scale played on the first string on uh, woods grades we're going to play uh, chromatic intervals so let's take a look at how the exercise works we start from the first grade of the scale from the open string second grade when we reach the fifth grade, i.e. the D. Because here is where we will switch to the thumb position. So... As you see, on the E, I put the thumb. So, I'll do it again. second octave we go up to the fifth grade so to the D of course at this point we also have to go back so No 
otis so we go back from the thumb position to the neck position and there it is down to the open G in the next clip you will see the full exercise Something really important, this exercise, especially at the beginning, is tiring, is tiring for the muscles, so at a certain point you will start feeling tiresome, especially in the, um, in the pinky. The moment you start feeling tired, just stop doing it, uh, because you will otherwise you risk to damage your, uh, your finger. I mean, we're talking about anyway small muscles that need to be trained gradually. So do not uh, overkill. Do not overkill. When you do this exercise, really 10-15 minutes uh, a day, or anyway 10-15 minutes at the beginning of your uh, study session, that's more than enough. You don't need to do more than that. The second exercise that we're going to see, and its brother that we're going to look into after, is very, very important in order to develop not only the position on one string, but the position and the accuracy of intonation while playing intervals. On this first exercise, play on uh, fifths and uh, minor thirds, and on its brother, as you will see, on fifths on different strings. So, let's take a look at how it works. <laughs> exercise uh, tunes helps you to tune the fifths and the minor thirds. This isn't an exercise uh, for speed, this is an exercise for intonation. So really take it slowly and pay attention to what you do. So for example the fifth. <laughs> Thing. 
finger, even as you can see, even a millimeter can change, find out where the fifths are, where the thirds are, and pay a really good attention to getting them in tune. This exercise will give you, again, a firm, uh, a firm position and security of intonation and will make uh, your playing way easier. The exercise is very similar to the first. The difference is this introduces the third string and is about fifths. So, let's take a look. <laughs> which means that they can that they, they can be played in any key especially the first one uh, have fun by playing it not only on, uh, on in the G key but also by, for example on A flat or other keys but also you can play that on the second scene or on the third on the fourth if <laughs> can be a bit ambitious, but still possible. So, feel free to experiment with the exercise, uh, enjoy them, and be creative, don't get bored. Also, do them uh, wisely, do them uh, consciously, and you won't need to spend too much time with them, but it will really give you a big boost. So, this was it for today. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, please put a thumb up and if you have any comment, any um, observation, please write in the section below and I'll be really happy to read it and to reply. This said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a great day my friends and see you in the next video. Ciao!